Hello, my witches and wizards. This is Professor Rowan. I'm coming to you in the middle of an ice storm. And usually, when it's raining ice, um, I would do this from inside. However, we have no electricity. We've had no electricity for two days now. And um, it sounds like we're not going to have electricity until the 16th, which is just swell. I honestly um, have no idea how I'm going to edit this or get it up on the interwebs, but I feel that I need a sense of normalcy in my life, and so I'm still doing it. Sirens. Wait, waiting for the sirens. Let me just give you a quick tour of some of the damage. So here you can see all the icicles and the branches that fell on a roof and thankfully slid right back off. Um, another big branch, uh, you can see the neighbor's tree over there, um, is now in the river, which is really high because of, you know, this ice and stuff. Um, tree, f uh, limb from our apple tree, and you know, we're the lucky ones because nothing has broken the house yet. When the details for the event dropped, I'm like, okay, good, it uh, was past sunset, so I'm like, alright, I'll just record in the morning, and um, woke up to no power, and it's going to be no power for the foreseeable future, so we're just going to have to wing it. And though I may have to wing it when it comes to how am I going to keep my food and how many shirts can I wear at one time, you at least after watching or this video or hopefully reading the internet before the video comes out because it, it may come out after the event starts, aren't going to have to wing the Aragog event. Our adversary event focusing on Aragog will be running from the 16th at 11 a.m. my local time till the 18th at 11 p.m. again my local time. There will be a free store pack with your edible dark mark, as well as a healing potion, a stimula potion, and spell energy. Master's Notes will be reducing the brew time on a stimula potions and your witch sharpening potion by 50%. You can see my breath! <sighs> There's also a to-do list. It's almost exactly the same to-do list as our last um, adversaries event. So just jumping straight into it, you need to defeat 35 foes in wizarding challenges. That means either taking the night bus or um, going to a fortress in an area where that is safe to do so. That will get you two strong stimula potions. You need to use your master's notes eight times, which you're probably going to do anyway since it's giving you a 50% bonus. That will give you an edible dark mark. You need to earn 1,500 challenge XP through either the fortresses or through taking on the adversaries. So it counts for both. And though the adversaries don't give you a whole lot of challenge XP, it's like 10 per people that you defeat, you will be getting plenty, I'm a certain, in the fortresses when you're taking on those 35 foes. That challenge XP will be rewarding you with six ginger root. Next, you need to use any seven estimula potions against adversaries. Any seven, it doesn't matter which strength on your estimula potion. That will give you 20 spell energy. You also need to use three witch sharpening potions versus adversaries. Might I suggest holding off until you're facing Aragog himself. That will get you four healing potions. You need to deal 25,000 damage to adversaries, or also it counts the damage that you do to um, oddities. 25,000 in damage will get you one silver key. Next, you need to defeat Aragog four times. That's not go through his chain, that's defeat him himself, which means that you have to get all the way through the chain and then face him. Defeating Aragog four times will give you one defense against the Dark Arts book. Finally, you need to return 20 artifact fragments or foundable fragments from the Aragog chain. You usually, if you defeat Aragog himself, you're going to get four from a chain, so that can be done relatively quickly. Completing at least four complete chains will get you two Defense Against the Dark Arts books. 
Completing the entire to-do list will give you five more Defense Against the Dark Arts books, an additional edible dark mark, 500 wizarding XP, 60 gold, which is better than what you get from a brilliant event, and spell energy. Tips and tricks on how to get through this most efficiently is first off, if you have not completed your professional tree, at least one professional tree, spend the time and effort to do so. Um, at least get as far as you can, because the further you're able to get in that, the more likely you're going to be able to do higher damage to these foes. I have not yet seen Aragog in the wild, um, so I'm looking forward to the XP bonus from finding a found bull for the first time. But because I haven't, I'm not going to be able to give you an update on like how difficult he is or what his like how much damage you have to do to defeat him. I'm hoping that it's not going to be as hard as the Basilisk. Brew your healing potions before the event begins so that you can spend the event brewing your Stimula potions and Witch Sharpening potions and getting the um, reduced brew time for those. Honestly, the rest of my advice is similar to the previous video that I had, so if you have any other questions, feel free to follow the link on the previous adversary event. If these videos are helpful for you, please like, subscribe, share. It really does help us out. Also, thank you to our patrons. You guys make this crazy possible. And also, um, if you are wanting to support us but are unable to become a patron, we do have uh, the option of purchasing someone in the household a coffee, which is in the link below. Now, if you'll excuse me, I would like to go inside and sit in front of the fireplace and warm up. So remember to stay safe especially when the weather's doing stuff like this. So please keep your eyes peeled, your ears open, and your wands ready.